Natha Creek is now the switched route of the lava. Uh, because it's foggy, most of the times we cannot see what's going on. This is a rare uh, view from the yesterday. That was really clear. You could see a surge of the uh, lava. But usually we don't see that when it is foggy, especially during the nights or early morning or early, late uh, evening. So what we have is the thermal images. Thermal images that uh, are taken by the USGS and uh, NASA. I've interpreted this, we see the volcanic crater as a white dot, the hot lava to the right, and the lava streams and channels to the lower left. And the uh, routes that is taken now, according to the light level, the dim uh, red ones, is through the Naha Creeky Valley, which is actually now is the shortest and the easiest route, it seems. It just has to go to there, then pass a little passage, and after that passage, it's just a straight line to the sea the ocean and uh, the farm will be saved i think part of the road also will be straight covered but it's not as that the vast uh, brushing against the road so we have a good uh, good chance that uh, the lava has now switched to this side and there is a reason for that if you look in the passage the third route that the lava was taken to the natai valley you can see that there is a little uh, notch there somewhere it seems the uh, is quite uh, solidified in that region, and there is no chance that the lava gets full. And beside the berm that also we have built there, the Thai Valley at the moment is not active. The route that you can see on this map, this is an old map, of course, easier to from the Natai Creek Valley. That's my interpretation of this uh, Landsat 8 satellite image.